All right, sorry about that, my distance learning friends. I hit the wrong button. I saw the check mark and clicked that. So here's part two of Stone Fox. All right, what did we think? Um, let's start. Should we start with what's together? Yeah. What do they have in common? What do they have in common, Zach? Um, they both want to win. They want to win. Good. They both sure do want to win. What else do they have in common? They got a few things in common. Camille? They love, they love dogs, right? They both have dogs. They love dogs. What else? Zane? Cold. Little Willie is not really cold. Where? What can we do with something with cold? Think through that. Something with cold. Holly. They're both racing. Both in the race. Yup. Think through what else? Think through where they. Think through our setting too. Monica. They both, they both um, are going to use the money for something that can or is getting taken away from them. Ooh, money to help, should we say family? Yeah. Kind of summing that up, something that was taken away or might be taken away. Another thing I was thinking with the cold was they're both in Wyoming, right? Oh, the yeah. settings that they're both live yeah, in Wyoming. Well, sometimes you can do the obvious. All right. Let's do mm, let's do Stone Fox next. What did you say for Stone Fox? What's different than Little Willie? What's different, Adam? Um, Stone Fox is big. He is big, right? He's big, tall. He is big. What else, Maddie? He doesn't. He doesn't talk. Well, he does. He does. Have we heard him talk? No. But he's Have we heard him talk? Do you know he talks? Yeah. No, yeah, because Lester, like, I think, yeah, I think it was Lester, somebody, but they, they said that he wouldn't talk to white people, but he did. Oh, but but if you're a white person, have you heard him talk? No. no. Do you know he talks? Yes. No. Have you heard him talk? No. How do you know you heard him talk? You can. Never know. Uh, Claire. Um, he's from India. He's not from India. This is a tricky one. <laughs> he, he is a Native American. Remember, Indian is different. Um, we don't really like to say Indian now. This book was printed a long time ago. So we say Native American because Indian refers to India and people make that mistake then that Indians are from India. But he is Native American. Let's do a few more. Ryan? Um, dogs have dogs. More dogs. Yeah, he's got more dogs. Uh, what else? Let's do a few more. Kateri? Well, it's for a little Willie. Okay, we'll come back to it. Monica? He's tough. He's tough. All right, I think we got a good amount over there. You can always have different ones on yours. What about little Willie? What would you say for little Willie, Kateri? Um, Willie is he's small. He's <laughs> small. I was joking and I said, is that why he's little Willie, do you think? Because sure. he's. Little Willie? No, 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 He's the underdog. Uh, what do you mean by that, Aiden? He does not have a lot of experience. He doesn't have experience. Did anybody bet on him? No. Nobody has bet. Not even one cent. Uh, all right, what else, Christian? Uh, Zine, what are you thinking? Um, he's American. He is uh, American. He isn't Native American. He is white. Good. Uh, Rosie? Let's change that to white. He is hurt. Yeah. He is hurt. He's got an injury, right? His eye. Oh, what nice. else? Uh, uh, Amelia. He has one, dog. one dog compared to the many, the more dogs so that Stone Fox has. Uh, Lizzie. No, uh, he's confident. Ooh, he's confident. Good. All right. And Claire. He is very talkative, isn't he? Like, Little Willie sure loves to chat. He would fit in with this class, would he not? Yes. All right, he is an extrovert. You are right. All right, let's read our last chapter for today. Chapter nine. gotta know what happens. Don't you dare make us have The race. 
chapter nine. Searchlight sprang forward with such force that little Willie couldn't hang on. If it weren't for a lucky grab, he would have fallen off the sled for sure. In what seemed only seconds, Little Willie and Searchlight had traveled down Main Street, turned onto North Road, and were gone. Far, far ahead of the others. They were winning, at least for the moment. Stone Fox started off dead last. He went so slowly down Main Street that everyone was sure something must be wrong. Swish. Maddie? To cheat, to cheat, maybe. We'll keep an eye on that. Good thinking, making inferences as you read. Swish. Little Willie's sled flew by the schoolhouse on the outskirts of town and then by the old deserted barn. Swish, swish, swish. Other racers followed in hot pursuit. Go, Searchlight, go, Little Willie sang out. The cold wind pressed against his face, causing his good eye to shut almost completely. The snow was well packed. It was going to be a fast race today, the fastest they had ever run. The road was full of dangerous twists and turns, but Little Willie did not have to slow down as the other racers did. With only one dog and a small sled, he was able to take the sharp turns at full speed without risking risk of sliding off the road or losing control. Therefore, with each turn, Little Willie pulled farther and farther ahead. Swish! The sled rounded a corner, sending snow flying. Little Willie was smiling. This was fun. About three miles out of town, the road made a half circle around a frozen lake. Instead of following the turn, Little Willie took a shortcut right across the lake. This was tricky going, but Searchlight had done it many times before. Little Willie had asked Mayor Smiley if he was permitted to go across the lake, not wanting to be disqualified. As long as you leave a town headed north and come back on South Road, the mayor had said, anything goes. So is it cheating? No. Nope, anything goes. None of the other racers attempted to cross the lake, not even Stone Fox. The risk of falling through the ice was just too great. Why is little Willie not worried about that? Because he's so light. He's so light. Good, and his sled's so light. Little Willie's lead increased. Stone Fox was still running in last place, but he was picking up speed. At the end of five miles, little Willie was so far out in front that he couldn't see anybody behind him when he looked back. He knew, however, that the return five miles going back into town would not be this easy. The trail along South Road was, part was practically straight and very smooth, and Stone Fox was sure to close the gap. But by how much? Little Willie didn't know. Doc Smith's house flew by on the right. The tall trees surrounding her cabin seemed like one solid wall. Grandfather's farm was coming up next. When Searchlight saw the farmhouse, she started to pick up speed. No girl, Little Willie yelled. Not yet. As they approached the farmhouse, Little Willie thought he saw someone in Grandfather's bedroom window. It was difficult to see with only one good eye. Someone was a man with a full beard. It couldn't be, but it was. It was Grandfather. Grandfather was sitting up in bed. He was looking out the window. Little Willie was so excited he couldn't think straight. He started to stop the sled, but Grandfather indicated no, waving him on. Of course, Little Willie said to himself, I must finish the race. I haven't won yet. Go, Searchlight, Little Willie shrieked. Go, girl. Grandfather was better. Tears of joy rolled down Little Willie's smiling face. Everything was going to be all right. And then Stone Fox made his move. One by one, he began to pass the other racers. He went straight from last place to eighth, then from eighth place to seventh, then from seventh to sixth sixth to fifth. He passed the others as if they were standing still. He went from fifth place to fourth, then to third, then to second, until only Little Willie remained. But Little Willie still had a good lead. In fact, it was not until the last two miles of the race that Stone Fox got his first glimpse of Little Willie since the race had begun. The five Samoys looked magnificent as they moved effortlessly through across the snow. Stone Fox was gaining, and he was gaining fast, and Little Willie wasn't aware of it. Look back, Little Willie, look back! But Little Willie didn't look back. He was busy thinking about Grandfather. He could hear him laughing, 
and playing his harmonica. Finally, Little Willie glanced back over his shoulder. He couldn't believe what he saw. Stone Fox was nearly on top of him. This made Little Willie mad, mad at himself. Why hadn't he looked back more often? What was he doing? He hadn't won yet. Well, no time to think of that now. He had a race to win. Go searchlight, go girl. But Stone Fox kept gaining, silently, steadily. Go searchlight, go. The lead, Sam Lloyd passed Little Willie and pulled up even with searchlight. Then it was a nose ahead, but that was all. Searchlight moved forward, inching her nose ahead. Then the Samoid regained the lead. Then Searchlight, when you enter the town of Jackson on South Road, the first building come into view about the first buildings come into view about a half a mile away. Whether Searchlight took those buildings to be grandfather's farmhouse again, no one can be sure. But it was at this time that she poured on the steam. Little Willie's sled seemed to lift up off the ground and fly. Stone Fox was left behind, but not that far behind. No, no, no. Chapter 10, the finish line no, will be tomorrow. Uh, fourth grade friends, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to put your bookmarks in right now and don't spoil the book for yourself, okay? Okay. Let's look at our last page, the point of view page. Okay. This one is a little tricky. Do you remember point of view? We talked about having the three different people. What is our story? What point of view is our story? What do you think? All right, that is not the answer I was looking for. Let's try that again. What point of view do you think our story is? Little Micah? Um, the, narrator. the narrator, so which first, second, or third? Third, go on, that third, that narrator is talking and describing the people. Because Little Willie never tell. do we ever know Little Willie's thoughts from himself? Like, I'm thinking this. No, we have the narrator telling us what Little Willie is doing. Good. So now let's think through our characters. What is Stone Fox probably thinking at this point? What is his point of view? What is Stone Fox's point of view at this point in our story? What do you think, Lily? Positive he is going to win. Why do you think he's positive, Lily? Because he has all these like older men and they've got really good dogs and they've got like healthy dogs. He's passing everybody. Yeah, so Stone Fox is like, I know what I'm doing. I was saving my energy, right? I'm gonna come and win now. What do you think, Amelia? I think that he's pretty impressed that Lily has gotten up this far. You might say that Stone Fox's point of view is he's impressed with little Willie that he's gotten this far. Huh? Let's go on. I know that there's more. What is little Willie thinking? What's little Willie's point of view? Imagine you were standing in little Willie's shoes. What are you thinking? What are you thinking as little Willie? Zach? Um, uh -huh. Little Willie is, he's a little, what's a good emotion? Nervous. He's a little nervous. Uh, nervous he isn't, or scared. He might be feeling scared too. Kateri? You might say that little Willie is also happy at the same time. Happy because he saw grandfather. Yeah. And Claire. Right? It almost made him daydream a little bit, right? What was he thinking about as he's racing? Grandfather and his harmonica. So he's daydreaming a little bit there, too. Good. Any of those are fabulous to write down, friends. Uh -huh. You just need one on each, okay? And what about grandfather? We saw grandfather for a little bit in this chapter. What's grandfather's point of view? What do you think grandfather's point of view is? What do you think, Lizzie? Like, not, like, hope, like, um, yeah, he might be. I like that word you had started. That hopeful that uh, Willie is going to win. He's hopeful. Claire, you got another one?
Yeah, he didn't know who all is in the race, see? He, so maybe he is, uh, what was that word again? Surprised uh, at little Willie being in the lead. Uh, but uh, hopeful, any of those, either of those will be good, okay? So my friends, remember, I'll be coming around and collecting your packets at the very end, so make sure you're doing these pages with us, okay? Um, And then... Your homework is on the back side of the page of chapter six. No, eight. Okay. So our next page here, chapter eight, finishing that up. A lot of short answers. I'm looking for those good reuse the sentence answers. And then chapter nine, there's only five on there too, okay? They're all sentence. They are a lot of sentence ones, a few circle, okay? So, you can have a few moments to get started on your homework, my friends, all right? I will leave this up for my friends in class. Thanks for joining, distance learners.